that too. Look who we got. <laughs> you know what this means today? We're going on a road trip. Road trip. And I'm sure all you can figure out why we're going on a road trip, as you guys saw the most recent video. So we got a long day ahead of us. At least it's nice outside. Yeah. You know, taking the old truck for a test drive maybe. Ooh. Gonna need one soon. So <laughs> we're gonna get on the road. He has some things to do on his phone on the way there, so we're probably not gonna record too much. But we'll update you guys probably from Tri Cities, what I would assume. And we're gonna get to Portland. Oh, we're finally here. Wasn't that bad. Probably could even left a truck on this. But we're here to get the Evo. Haha! Here, I gave you a little parting gift. There's the blow up E. Here, I put I put the uh, paperwork on the dash for you. Is that the non-compliant? She's good to go. That's the ones I signed that says sign here, uh, not my fault. No. Owner blew it up. No, that's your dyno sheets. <laughs> you got dyno Woo! sheets. We got dyno sheets, guys. EJ Swap. Yep. Hey, What's maybe you should do that. How much? Take a page out of Honduras book and let's do a freaking uh, like a K series in this Evo. Maybe it'll be more reliable. Nah, we don't want to make it slower. Ouch. Oh. Our <laughs> community is really going to hate you now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we did look at doing. Jesus, what'd you leak on this thing? Oh. Sorry, that's a hyperblue love. Dog! It was in me. I wasn't here. What the hell? I was sleeping. It's his car. Was, why isn't this thing on the freaking dyno Because we got to install gauges and oil cooler and all this stuff before it goes on. Oh, yeah, you can get in pumps, time you know? for me to freaking see it. We're loading up and going to Jay's before they close. all day. Yeah, screw that. It's nice out though. It's cool. You got time for Jay's. Jay's don't close for a few Six. hours. Yeah, the DA today is really good, so. Yeah, yesterday was power. horrible yeah. it feels really good today mm -hmm. this feels nice out today yeah this is pretty much as good as it gets for making power on the dyno this da when it feels like this must be nice i did it in freaking florida humidity hey. she just went hey, just <laughs> and she felt it no the conditions when your car was on the dyno were probably the worst i've ever been dude it was yeah you were almost passing out yeah 100 degrees <laughs> and the humidity was probably 70 80 percent it was god awful it was rainy yeah he looks good though. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well guys, I'm gonna start getting the scene loaded up. What's up with those containers? You know? Let me get one. Nah. Come on dog. Nah. So you know that what I was thinking about here, this is a really interesting challenge. This is a good video. Mm. You know why? Huh. Evo versus Subaru, same turbo, both have built motors. Who's gonna make more power? 36 pounds, you gotta make 712, 717. So, so that's that's the deal. <laughs> it's whoever makes the most power when they're done. You didn't even make it all the way. Yeah, no. mine runs. So I can go fire it off. Evo's gotta come back. We're gonna let her come back and do another shot. But this is perfect because how many times do we have two cars built all the way up? Yep. Subaru Evo, same exact turbo. Yep. Pretty much same, same setup, tuner. same fuel yep. system, same tuner. Almost same liters. Same dyno. 2.4, 2.5. This is perfect. Like, I just yep. thought about this this morning. It's gonna be good. Guess what, guys? The Subaru is gonna drive off the dyno. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, this you'll, pile. You'll come back. Get it fixed this and thing. come back. We'll give you a second. Get shot. it fixed. This thing's getting fixed and going straight to the track, so you better turn this fucking thing up. <laughs> I better fly in because it ain't gonna go nowhere with the way it's set up right now. It doesn't have two step or none of that tune now. It needs a lot of time to get that right. So. Well, you see. But, I mean, the map that's on it, where it's at, it should rip. Like, it's making over 700. It's that, yeah. That's nine second power. You just got to get it off the line. So, it will, once you get it running again, run great. Well, so. head gasket, it's on back order. Yeah. Oh. So, they said two weeks, guys. I told him I need it by the 11th. So, that gives us a week of time to figure this thing out to get to the, the track. Head gasket. Athena. Firelock that no one runs on evos because they're too expensive apparently really uh, that's 340 bucks for it yeah. worth it it holds well worth it yeah the alternative. i don't know if you guys noticed in the video but um there's a lot of sparks and flames coming out the side of the head yeah you can uh if you guys go to my channel and check out my video that says yep. evo dino carnage i actually do a leak down test and explain what happened and show you guys what really happened so yeah you guys can see how bad this thing truly is so you're gonna have to check his out, and then we're gonna pull the head off this thing, me and Joshua. Here's my Evo mechanic. Should be just the <laughs> afternoon, these are easy. Yeah. 
pull I'm the turbo pull, kit off, pull the manifold off, and just lift it off. We're going to pull the head off, and I'm going to send it out to get rebuilt this time because yeah. of all that smoking on DXL. Yeah. So I think it's the valve stem seals in the head or something's going on in the head. So I'm going to get the actual head rebuilt this time. That way we know it's 100%. And then while we're waiting on the gasket, I mean, it makes sense yeah. to do it that way. Yeah. And then we're, I'm going to get a proper catch can set up on it just in case it does have crankcase pressure. I think we would have saw other signs like a dipstick popping out if it did. I don't even think but the breathers were vaping at all. No. We weren't even, there was no blow by coming out. It's got an open breather on the valve core. It doesn't even have a hose on it. Nothing was coming out of it. She wasn't, uh, we weren't pushing her yet. She wasn't stressed. No. <laughs> no yeah, obviously. That's a, well, says otherwise. Well, well, the bottom end pretty much was good to go. Yeah. The, the gasket end, wasn't ready. No. The top end. The, the block was handling it like a champ. Me and him were blown away. We were uh, like, what? Yeah, that made no sense. 25 pounds, 600 wheel? We are like, how? What was 35, it? 36. 14 25 pounds? for 600. Yeah, so it was 596. 600, it was 25 pounds. And 14 yeah. pounds made 400, like five, 460. 410 on wastegate. It's a big displacement, isn't that long rod too? Yeah. So yeah, it should. Yep. Bigger motor, long rod, ported head, big cams, big valves. It's probably it's made 600 torque. It's got a really nice turbo kit. Yeah, it's still an Evo, Josh. Calm down. <laughs> wow, it made just as much torque as what the Subaru did. 600. Yeah, my car did 648 was its best torque. You made 600 torque? Yeah, it yeah. made 596 torque yeah. and 717. Yeah, and it took me, so I made the same power as this. See, we can see this. the dynograph. Yeah, I made the same power as this on a 6870 on my Subaru, but it took me 42 PSI. Yep, so. but it is lower compression. You got, yeah, this is 10.5 to 1, so I that's made, where the difference is in compression. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So if we take a look, numbers. Let's see if this thing's clear or not. I don't know. 717 and torque was 570 with correction, 558 without. Ah, nice comments. 36 psi, boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's damn right. That is what happened. You switch out the battery today? No, not yet. Fuck. I've been working on this thing all day, man. I'm not trying to take your battery. No, you, you're not taking my battery. You gotta pull I'm it out. I'm taking it now. No, pull that shit out. I need it. Sheila gotta... ain't gonna switch it out for me. She don't even know who I am. What are you talking about? Sheila. Oh, you're talking about if I actually got a uh, warranty. Yeah. No, they won't. I tried that. I didn't switch it out of the car, is what I was saying. Oh, fuck. Now I need a battery. I called and she's not even around. So, really? Yeah. Well then. Last Evo. She might be there today. Like I called yesterday and she wasn't. Maybe she's, she's well, working now. So you should take yeah. it down there on the way out and see if she's not one over in Talton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just go in the back and say I need to see Sheila. Here you go. Just wear this hat. There the you HMS go. hat. Mm -hmm. Our battery is junk. 100 mm -hmm. percent junk. It was showing 18 volts. Here on one. Yeah, Scarlett donated her battery, her map sensor, yep. her fuel filter, some fittings. <laughs> <laughs> turbo. I'm, I'm, st I'm trying to remember <laughs> turbo. I I got to remember because I when I go to put this together, I know I'm gonna be like, oh no, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. The wire harness. Did you get that? Oh yeah, map sensor harness. That should be there today, I think. Yeah. So filter can. Yeah, I'm gonna start putting my car together, and uh, I'm so for everybody watching the last Evo. The last Evo. With the same turbo. I thought it was 740. It was 740. That was 740. 741 and yeah. 568. Yeah. Well, that At one. 50, that was 752 pounds. But that was a two liter. So yeah. I think he's a two two. It's a two two. Yeah. So big difference. But you guys gotta check out his car. Yeah. So I'm gonna get my car together. Um, I finally have everything here. I think. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I'm how sure all something else will come up. But uh, I'm gonna start making some yeah. more videos on it. Um, Dudley, if you're watching. <laughs> wants me to come out to IFO on the 20th, so I'm gonna try. And let's see. In Boise? Happens. Yep. What oh. the heck? Yeah, I mean, going to Boise. Yeah. I'm good. I don't care about IFO. I'm gonna try. No but care. Class least, racing? Don't care. At least if, if <laughs> I can get the class? car together, though, I am gonna run it either here at Woodburn or PIR before then or by then. So either way, I wanna race by about the 20th. I don't know where it's gonna be, but yeah. I wanna race. So. so, sequential dog box. In a legacy, you guys gotta check it out. Now we're not talking new school legacy, old school legacy. I don't even know if it works.
Me either, guy. You might be putting stock trans back in it. I might Sending be pulling it. the uh, old girl out of oh, the yeah, forester. Oh, right out of the forester, which you guys saw in the other video before. I'll probably be pulling that you. transmission out if this one doesn't work just to get to the track. <laughs> old forester will have a sequential. <laughs> yeah, eventually it'll get the sequential in that. When I figure it out, yep. I'll just daily that. <laughs> it'll, yeah, 500 wheel car will just start taking down 700 wheel Evos because it's got the sequential just in it. Bah, bah, bah. I'll be like, oh, he makes 500, dog. Harry will be all mad. What the hell? You got your truck bed up there? Uh, you missing one, know. dog? I don't have a Dodge. Oh, Chuck. You should know me better than that. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck's the one that lost his truck bed. Yeah, no, that ain't me. All right, we're going to get this thing lined up. I'm going to hang out for a minute. I'm done recording. This is probably a long clip. Ten minutes. We already made our full YouTube video. Right in one clip. <laughs> That's how we do it. Yep. <laughs> Big shout out to Josh. He knocked this thing out. He got this thing up on the trailer, all strapped down. Guys, give Josh a shout out. Go ahead and check out Vivid TI. Get your titanium studs. We're working on a kit right now for you guys. So we're just buttoning up here. We are gonna go get some E85 before we head out of Portland. So we're kind of in a time crunch right now. Trying to get there before they close because, well, Jay's garage closes at six. And we're also trying to hang out for a minute because we just obviously drove for six hours. So. Trying to hang out, super nice here. It's about 80 degrees, perfect weather, no humidity. And we're kind of giving Steve and Emmanuel some shit before his car goes on the dyno, right? It's only it's only out of love. It is. He gave me the same shit. Actually, he was pretty supportive of me, but I gotta give him some shit. Right, you man? Facts. Josh is gonna check out his engine bay, see what he can do about getting some nice titanium studs and bolts in here for him. So we're gonna check this out and then we're gonna get back on the road here in a minute. Probably should just give E-Man a shout out while we're here. You guys wanna see more on Emmanuel's STI? I'll go ahead, put his Instagram right over here for you guys. But this thing's about to go on the dyno, 6870 on a thousand horsepower rated short block that I just got done building fully built heads gonna compare to what it did to the evo i'm sure it's gonna make it out to dyno though <laughs> hopefully that's the plan <laughs> that subaru reliableness gotta take gotta take out the evos one at a time yeah well that ain't too hard <laughs> they only make one good pass and then boom <laughs> yeah well they don't even make it that far yep so we're gonna look this over like i said guys check them out you guys want to see more on the car and check out Steve's channel because I'm hey, sure the video is like, coming up. Comment and subscribe. Turn on the bell Whoa, notification. Look at that go. Oh. Nice guy. All right, guys. See you soon. Get to leave you. You didn't, even, you didn't even ask him what he had in those barrels. He has E85 and E98. Yeah, because E98's there for a reason. Nah. Nah. He's going for it. I'm going for all of it. I don't need no I'm making sure E98. no Subaru comes close to that record. Oh, yeah? Time soon. <laughs> He's going to knock me off the podium after today. Should we bring I, old girl I down? Held the record for you won't. Nope. Let's see. How long have I held the record for? How many years? Fuck off, pal. What is it true? I was right there. Super record. You I held right it for there. four but years now. But does he have the driver mod? No. Yeah. No, he does. Ooh. I fully admit that. Oh, driver mod. You hey, no. I can. Oh build. wow, thanks, guy. Between you two, yeah. Hey, I can build a badass car, but he's he <laughs> could he could drive it. I'm not the good driver, so. <laughs> then I get to drive the legacy. Shit, it'd probably go eights if you got it. <laughs> Eight uh, second pass. <laughs> well, we're gonna get on the road. This car's all loaded up. Good luck, E-Man. Thank you. Let me know how it goes. Yeah. I'll Good let luck. you know. 
something. I'll let you know one of the numbers. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll just let you see. Oh. Well, guys, we went and got some killer burger. The wife's going to be pissed, but what do you think besides of your bacon on your burger? Well, you know, when they say, oh, we'll put bacon on the side, and they put bacon on the side, you don't expect it to be in the burger, too. So, <laughs> but it was good until prices. then. <laughs> yep. Got the car. We probably should check our straps, double check everything. But unfortunately, the E85 station was already closed, so couldn't get any more E85, unfortunately. But we got some food, check our straps. Everything's good. This thing is freaking filthy from sitting there. It's all dusty, as you guys might be able to see. So dirty. So we'll give her a good bath when we get back. And it's gonna be a late night. We're leaving here, it's about seven o'clock. We got a six hour drive ahead of us, so. We're gonna get on this drive. I'll probably talk to you guys a little bit when we get back, just to end this video out. But let's get on the road. Oh, didn't unlock. I was like, I didn't unlock your door, what? <laughs> well, finally made it. After a very long day of driving. In fact, about, what? 13 hours, 12, 13 hours. Ended up being about 700 miles, 750. Yeah. Something like that, I don't know, we're both tired. We're getting ready to unload this thing. What a long day. You guys hardly are gonna see anything. So I think we're just gonna end out the video here. We won't be able to diagnose this thing for a little bit because we gotta get caught up on some other work that we have going on. Um, you guys will have to just see that here soon. But don't think we're probably going to end up getting to the Evo probably until the weekend on the days off, unfortunately, unless we get time this week. So stay tuned. Soon we'll all be able to know what happened to this thing, and I'll be showing you guys everything along the way. Living life up in the fast lane. Life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane.